Hello everyone, hope you are doing well and please be joined by my friend Frank McAvenny to discuss all things West Ham so far this season. I look ahead to tomorrow night's game against Tottenham, the man in the dugout and for the rest of the season. Frank, how is oneself? It's good, all good. I'm back in back in Glasgow. Um, a bit cold, but never mind. Apart from that, it's a good place. <laughs> uh, right then, season so far for West Ham, what do you make of it? Um, listen, they're, they're doing... They're doing I don't know how to explain it. They're doing all right. Um, I've just got this. Listen, it's just me. It's only my opinion. I just look at the players that we've got, and we shouldn't be in a, in a, a counter-attacking team. I just look at the players, and I think, you know, my God, we've got Bowen. You know, you've got the Paquette, Paquetta, who loves, you know, and we've got Kudos. It's, we've got some great, great players there that want to go and play football. And um, and they and they can keep the ball now, you know. We don't have to be a counter attacking team, but David's got this defensive, and, and I understand that. And you can't have a go, I can't have a go because he's he's won as a trophy, he's won a chat, the you know, a European trophy. And you know, I just I, I'm a purist, if you know, I like watching football the way it should be played. And you know, yeah. and sometimes I've got to be honest with you, I get, I get a bit bored watching my Sam sometimes. Yeah, there's a there's a big debate among West Ham fans at the minute, sort of style versus results. Because as you say, st- results wise, we're not going too bad. Ninth in the Premier yeah. League, going to the knockouts Europe League, We've got the mm-hmm. quarter final against Arsenal coming up as well. But the style itself isn't perhaps the best. And I think Moyes mm-hmm. came under criticism for it against Crystal Palace again, and he himself tried to allude that we could be taking a few more risks, but it's still. Not, not, not quite there. I think, I th- I think Davis. I just look at him and I, th- I think he's got to take a chance because the players that we've got can keep the ball. You know, I just, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, over the years, a few years, that I thought these, you know, the, the counter attacking is the only way you can play it. Because, but at, at the moment, we've got players that can keep the ball and, and they love. You can tell they love playing football and and they're smiling. And when I, when a team's all happy, they're a better team. And, and and I just don't know how you can be happy playing a team. But what's it? Defends all yeah. the time, you know. Some I get it when you're playing us when you're playing um, Man City and Arsenal, the Arsenals in this one who, who, who can go at you. I'll tell you what, I've got to be careful tomorrow night because that this boy Hans doesn't know how to defend. <laughs> um so I hope David's got a, a plan for it because these guys these will be the one thing about Tottenham they'll be fit tomorrow night. And uh, and you know they, they go right to the end, so uh, they've got David's got David got to prepare that um, and and be uh, be ready for it. But um, we'll see. Maybe the counter attack will do do well against Tottenham because they'll they'll fling everyone forward. That's for sure. Well, let's uh, t- take a look at that Tottenham game then, because obviously you'll know quite a lot about Postecoglou yeah. from his time at Celtic. Have you been impressed by him at Spurs so far? Well, listen, I, I, he's not going to change. I thought he would have, but he's not. He's not going to change. Didn't change in Europe either. Um, but we gave, you know, when Ange was in charge, we gave Real Madrid a hell of a game, especially at Celtic Park. Yeah, um, we should have beat them, to be honest with you. But you know, it was, um, and I, you know, it was one of these situations, and they just keep t- good managers, you know, um, just put anywhere the space where the the players run out. You know, they. They're leaving gaps at the back, so I'm, West Ham should be capitalising on that because, as I say, we've got players that can do that and, and they will leave spaces at the back because they don't care, they'll go forward. The manager is taking this, he'll say, I'll take responsibility. If you lose the ball, I'll, it's on me. So that they're, they're, they'll be playing without any fear. And that's when West Ham could get, can get at them because there will be gaps, that's for sure, and in the, in the defences. Um, at Tottenham, but listen, we, we like playing against Tottenham anyway, don't we? So that if the boys are not up for that, they shouldn't have been. If they shouldn't have been addressing them. To combine your opinions of sort of West Ham style and Postecoglou into one, then how do you see the <coughs> game going? I agree with yourself. The potential to harm Spurs are there, but whether we do or not, I think is a different question altogether. Because it goes back to what we were just speaking about: having faith in David Moyes' setup in order to attack Spurs. But he's got. To, I just think David's got. He, listen, he's not going to change his ways, but I think he's got to have more belief in the players. I mean, he's. I, I don't like. I think 
the last couple of times I've seen Paquetta, he's been playing out wider. I'm not happy with that. I don't like that. You know, I, I know Suchek scoring goals. Um, but we've got we've got good players that should be sitting in the middle. You know, I just Suchek's just that he can come he can go out there because if he's wanting to run in the box, he can come in for the side and score his goals. Um he's a fit boy, Suchek, but he doesn't he's, he can't control the ball that Paqueta Bowen and you know ben, even Ben Rama in the middle of the park. These boys can control it and kudos as a as, is a wee bit special, I think. I think he could be a, a player um, going right to the top, I think. He's uh, got that confidence in it. Uh, yeah. It's day three of our Christmas offers. It's not the marks you've missed that. That was on Monday. It's not the socks you missed that. That was Tuesday. But today is offer. And for the next 24 hours, we're offering 20% off every single print. You don't need any codes. You don't need any special links. Just go to hammerschatstore.com. You can grab yourself a Paul DeGanio print for 20% off. You can grab yourself a Jared Bowen print with 20% off. Or, while you're over there, you might fancy treating yourself or someone special this year because we've got some signed Canning Town Len artwork. Alan Devonshire is involved, David Cross, Tony Gale, and mine and Frank's fellow countrymen, Ray Stewart, is involved as well. So get involved by going to hammerschatstore.com. Treat yourself to a new print with 20% off or someone you love this Christmas. So, yeah, I, I, it's going to be interesting tomorrow, but I, I just wish David would... But he's not going to change. You don't know. I don't think he's going to get a contract, is he? Have you heard that? I would have thought there'd have been a contract agreed by now if he was going to get one. Um, for the Because his contract's up at the end of the season, I believe. Yeah. I would, have thought, I would have thought if, it was, if he was staying or if they were going to give him a contract, um, I think it would have been done by now. David may want to move on, try something different, and and, and if that's the case, then he, sh- he should have moved on when he won a trophy. I was I was going to say, do you want to see him <coughs> stay at West Ham, or would you like I to want, see him move on? I, I love the fact that we're winning games. We're not we're not a team now. You got to be careful what you wish for. Um, I don't know who Mister Sullivan will have a speak to. I don't know who he's got. There's a, there's a rumor even up in Glasgow. There's a rumor going about that. David didn't buy Ings. <laughs> you, know, you know how rumours go, but apparently he walked in and he said to him, hey, Paul, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's... <laughs> Thanks, Mr Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> if that's true, if that's true. But that, David would have laughed about that because he would have been going, what's... <laughs> you know? um, I don't know. Listen, I, 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 he's top half of the table. Um... I just think, especially where we're playing as well, and the, and the ball that we're playing, you, the players have got to create the atmosphere, and, and they're not. So it's left to the supporters, and it's it's hard in a big place like that. I mean, it's so vast, vastly away from the pitch to, to create an atmosphere when, when the players are not doing it. We've had some great nights there. Um, but... Again, it's going to be one of them. Tottenham, you know, it's as a as a as a different animal when you come to playing whether it's home or, or away. Um, it's just you've got to be up for it. So I just would list. I would like David to let the fans know. Make a decision now if he's going to stay or, or go, and uh, and and see hard because whoever comes in, he's got one hell of a team. I think. I really do. I think he's got. We can't have a go because he's bought some great. I don't know what the the um, the signing policy is there, but they, they bought some. I mean, they've got some great players. Um, a couple of young ones coming through as well, which which is nice. Um, but I think they've got the basis of a really good team. I just don't think we should be a counter attacking team. I think we're good enough to go in the offensive. You know, that's, that's just my opinion. That's, and that's just a personal opinion. It's not. Having a go at David, because he's that's the way he plays, that's the way his teams do, and, and they're hard to beat. And you know, but it's just me. <laughs> I would love to see them. I just think we, we've got players that can now hurt people. I, I was gonna ask you about being a former <clears throat> striker. Um, there's obviously we've got a bit of an <clears throat> issue at the minute with Nova Kale Antonio, Jared Bowen's up there. Looked out the game completely against Crystal Palace. Yeah. Mubama got his goal against Baka Tapola. Didn't do anything with it, but didn't really get the service there. 
What's it like for you as a former striker watching West Ham play? Would you be able to succeed in this team or would you struggle well, as well? I, I, I was different. I would have been, I would have held, uh, see, I can hold the ball up. And yeah. I was a different kind of striker, so I was good at holding the ball up. And your typical strikers like Tommy TC, Tony Cotty, one of the greatest strikers West Ham, he couldn't have played in this team because they're not getting, they want to feed off to the striker and what Antonio does, he holds his defenders. Brings other people when to play. I can do that, but Tony couldn't. Tony just wanted to face a goal. And then, and the same as Ings. Ings is when he plays him, he just he's a goal scorer. He put the ball in the box and that's when it comes alive. Yeah. Um it's, so we've not really helped Ings, to be to be honest with you. Um because his game is he'll, he's a, a poacher, he'll get his tap ins, he'll get his, you know, off his backside and all that. That's the kind of goals that he scores and and that's, you know, he's, he's been a good striker through the years, but not for West Ham because we don't play that way. Yeah. So sometimes you've got to adapt and, and I just don't get... David's no, David's no change, you know, he'll not change. And sometimes it looks as if, you know, we're better than what we are. But I just think we've got some good players. Don't like, I've got to be mad, I don't like seeing Paquette out wide. I don't think he likes either. We're looking his, but they look in his face. <laughs> you know, I don't think... The boy likes it out there, but we'll see. You know, and as you say, Bone doesn't look happy up front. It's just something we've not conquered, does it? I mean, they keep bringing these players, Skamaka and, and the other big Haller. And I don't know who watched these players because when Haller come in, I'm thinking, how is he going to adjust to West Ham? Because he only plays with one up front. Haller's used to playing with three up front at Dortmund. Yeah. I couldn't understand it. I mean, and I was, I was hoping I was wrong, but it was proven to be right. It was, uh, God, now all these players come here with a smell on their face, and then all of a sudden they're miscoats <laughs> odds, isn't it? <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what that is. So, um, but listen, that is what it is. You've got to, I just don't know. I think the strikers have got to be picked, and, and whoever's picking strikers isn't picking the right ones. Yeah. There's not many, there's not many Antonio's going to bow. When he's, but when he's, when he's on form, West Ham play well. Yeah. Um, looking, looking, looking ahead to the rest of the season then, Frank, what's your hopes for West Ham? Uh, long, long term for the rest, the remainder of the season. We're obviously, we've got the Carabao Cup, we've got the Europa League, we've got the Premier League as well. What are you hoping to see? Well, that, they, they, should be, they should be challenging. I think they've got players to challenge the top six, that's for sure. Um, the Europa League, they're, they're pretty good. It's a, it plays that... The game that David plays maybe is meant for Europe. Yeah. Um, so we've got a chance in that. Uh, yeah, we've got a good chance in that. I mean, as long as it doesn't do a dance after it again. <laughs> it was the worst dance I've ever seen. When David started dancing after one of the conference, I was like, I was embarrassed to be Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it wasn't ideal. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was, uh, but you can understand what he's done. He's won a major, major trophy and fair play him. And he deserves a lot of credit for that. And, and he deserves a lot of credit for what he's done for the club. But it's just the way he plays. It's his teams. Yeah. Um, I just can't, I can't get used to it. I just, it's not my cup of tea. Especially when we've got, now as I say, we've got some really good players on the team. We've got some really excellent players who can hold the ball and and do your tricks and you know and enjoy themselves. Um I, I think we, we should be going for top six. Um whether we will pardon me, whether we will or not, I don't know. But uh, I'd like to know what's happening with David. So listen, no matter what, if he's leaving, give him a good farewell send off because he's he's won his that trophy and you know there's not many managers done that, that's for sure. At West yeah. Ham. So he deserves to be up there. Um I'm not going to put them up there at the top, but I'm, you know, you know what I mean. It's just yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, deserves all the credit we can, we can give him. But he deserves a good send off if he's leaving because the, the supporters will want to do that. Because I know they're not liked it as much as what they would, but he has done certain things and took his where we were fighting relegation and all that kind of stuff. He's took us away from that. Now we're looking up rather than down. But I just think now's the time to go. Look, go on, boys. Go and, go and show the fans what you can do. You know, it's, I, I see, that's just me. Football's an entertainment sport. 
you know, we're, we're on that pitch to entertain the fans. I, I can't understand why people don't want to do that, you know, and they're getting fortunes for a job that most people on that terrace would give their right arm for. And, uh, and some of them look as if it's a chore. And I, and I can't understand that. So, you know, maybe it's the way they're playing. Maybe it's the way they're being asked to play. I don't know. I'm not going to blame David for everything. But, but come on, boys, get, get a smile on your face and go and enjoy it and, and play. You know, it's a game of football. My God, it's not, it's not 95. While, while there's uncertainty over the future of David Moyes, because we, we don't know anything, do you think the board have decided what they're going to do with David Moyes or not? Or do you think they're still waiting to decide themselves? I think so. I mean, I can't understand why David Sullivan would wait. I, I mean, he must have. I would imagine, listen, unless I'm stupid, I would imagine David's, David's agent would be speaking to Sullivan. You know, I'm, I'm, I would I would imagine, because if he's not, he's going to try and get If he wants to continue working, he's going to try and get, go somewhere else. Yeah. Um, so... I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I think this, they've got to have conversation. That conversation's got to be there. Whether it's between Mr. Sullivan and David J. Moise's agent, I don't know. But it's got to be conversation there. So, but they're keeping it, but I'd like them to know. I wouldn't want them to go and not get a chance to see Chiro, if you know what yeah. I mean. Um, I, would, I would like him to get a good send-off because he deserves that. Yeah. Uh, right then, uh, let's end the show with some predictions from you, Frank. Uh, mm. We'll do one thing at a time. We've got the Carabao Cup against Liverpool. Are we beating Liverpool or are we heading out of the quarterfinals? I think we'll head out. I don't. I can't see he's beating Liverpool. That well, listen, the starting, they stepped up a gear. If they, if we can get them at the weekend, they stepped. They, they were a bit poor, and then all of a sudden, wow. You know, they, they didn't they didn't want to get beat and they stepped up again, didn't they? So yeah. I just think and it depends what David if he wants to play that way, if he wants to depends if he puts a, a good team out. Yeah. Uh, and Liverpool, if Liverpool put a decent a half decent team out, then you know, I can't see us beating them. Europa League, how far do you think we're going in that competition? I, I know it depends on a lot of things, far. but I, I don't see what it depends who we get, but I don't see why we can't because I think he's he's that's a that's that's the league where David's football sort of shines. Uh, you know, I think it, I think it does. I think it's um, I think we get away with it a lot more in Europe than what we would in the Premier in the Premiership. So, yeah, I think we could go. I, I really do. Hopeful we can go far. You know, get a semi final maybe. It'd be great for the club to another another journey for the fans, which is which is great. Right, Premier League then, we're currently ninth. Where do you yeah. reckon we're going to finish roughly come May? I'll be happy if they're challenging for top six the way they are at the moment. Um, they're not far off. I, I, I mean, we're talking, it's not doing in gloom with the, the way they play football. It's with some people, like me, and, me included, but we're not far off. I just think a few tweaks, we could we could be challenged. I don't think we're going to challenge the top four. Um, but fight for... Fight for Top six, yeah, I think we could get that. I mean, you've got your Aston Villas, you've got Brighton, who are doing very, very well. Um, but we're there, and, you know, and unfortunately, Angie's been down to Tottenham and got them resurgent, and they're doing very well. But they've lost a few games. They've lost three and drawn one in the last couple of games, so let's not make it. Let's make it a, you know, drawn, lost four out of five. That'd be good if we can beat them tomorrow. That'd be nice. Um, David Moyes then will he be here next season? What's your prediction? Cool. Well, the way just the way it looks, I mean, I don't know. I, I would say no. Yeah. I would say I can't see it. I just think something's something's afoot, something's happening. It's it's too quiet for my liking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've seen your comments about that that there's always leaks at West Ham, but for yeah. some reason there's no leaks about this. Yeah, there's no leaks. It's it's been, you know, it's yeah, it's um, yeah, it's a bit strange, isn't it? Yeah, Mr. Mr. Sullivan. Um, may have been Mr. Gold, God rest him. May have been him who was leaking the stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like like when when it's about transfers, it's like a sieve. There's leaks yeah. everywhere. But when it's about Dave Moyes' future, we, we it's a nice scrambling ball. We usually get the one, this is who we're going for. 
and, and you know, I'll really just let everyone know who you're wanting. <laughs> uh, the price has just doubled. <laughs> <laughs> your, your final prediction, Frank. Mm-hmm. Spurs against West Ham. What's your score prediction? I think West Ham will look at there. 2 1. Oh, ooh, ooh, interesting. I Love that. I think, listen, I know Ange, if we can keep him out, we'll, we'll get well, more than a couple of chances. Yeah. Because he doesn't care about defending. He'll tell you that. <laughs> it's great for people to play. That's why everyone at Tottenham, all the players are loving it. Because he doesn't, but he says, I'm not interested in defending. <laughs> <laughs> the end. And Moise is too much defending. <laughs> So, so we can have somewhere yeah. in the middle. We can have an somewhere Ange boys. Somewhere in the yeah. middle, they can shake hands and we'll get we'll go to battle. And then. So but we need I think, an. I think, I think we can we can do some. I, I'll take a little bit draw at West Ham. I'm, I'm I'm hoping, you know, if, if Tottenham don't crash, if Tottenham score early, which they're likely, likely to do, or or they could very well do, don't you know, don't give in and cave in and and make it a landslide. So I'm I'm hoping that we get we get a result and. David will be watching it. No way he's not watched the way the system and, he, and he'll, he'll have a game plan and uh, hopefully we can we can take it and beat him. Well, Frank, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a pleasure as always. Thank you. Thank you very much for asking me on. It's been a great, it's been great to chat to you guys. Uh, well, you, I've just wait, I've just finished the way to finish the show. That's all, Frank. I've just wait wrap it says, up. Well, you can go, you can go on my website. You can tell me I'll go on my website. I'm, I've, I've brought a new website out, so we're doing all that. Uh, www.frankmacavenny.co.uk. Go on that, it's good fun. There you go. A uh, link to Frank's new website is in the description yes. below as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it by clicking the thumbs up button. Subscribe to you to Hammer's Chat. Myself and Frank, well, we'll catch you on his website. Mm-hmm.